We are going to replace the Y board upper on a 42 inch plasma television set that has rolling vertical lines, red and green, across the top half of the monitor. Now, when you turn the television set on, is you get these crazy green and, and red lines on the top. Now, what you'll see is if you're having a similar problems with your television, you'll uh, it's going to be difficult to see with this camera, but. You can see that the top half of the screen is messed up and the bottom half is fine. That's because there's two boards that control the, the monitor, the Y board upper, and then I believe the Y board lower. Each of these boards is separated into three panels. So you'll see that there's actually three separate panels of, of, of horizontal lines that are going across your screen. This will be fixed by replacing the Y board. It looks a lot like this. And we're gonna be replacing that today. So this is the back of the television. The Y board is actually sitting right over here on the left side vertically. So you're gonna have to take this back panel off. I'm not gonna do a how-to on, on unscrewing screws. Here, there's a little black panel like that that sits on the back that you have to unscrew. I know this is a little all over the place, but you guys are smart, you'll figure it out. Those two screws will enable you to finally take the panel off. All right, ever wanted to see what a back of a television looks like? There's a lot of crap back here. A lot of dust. It says a lot about the owner of the TV. There's our back panel. It's been successfully removed. For those of you from Canada, this is the right side of the back and this is the left. Alright, why don't we get started here, huh? How's that doing? That's good enough. Alright, people. Okay, so remember when I was showing you the television earlier and I was showing you that there's three panels of screwed up lines? Panel one, panel two, panel three. This is the whole board that got flipped up over here. So my guess is these can just pull right out. This is going to be a piece of cake, team. Of course, we have to hope it works. So, you pulled your little wires out, and it looks like there's just a couple of screws that need to be removed. Top and bottom. Don't lose these screws, guys, or you're screwed. Just kidding. All right, let's see here, so. Okay, so, um, forgive me for accidentally turning the camera off, but basically after you unscrew this, you're going to need to flick this tab up down here, which is connected to the wide board lower. I used a Phillips flathead to pop that out. And then um, I was a little too rough with it probably, but you want to slowly kind of wedge it out this way because it's literally just plugged into the main board here. Maybe I can zoom in and show you. Hold on, not zoom in. You can see that it was basically plugged right in the top and bottom, that black bottom and the white top. After you flick that switch up, Pull it out, she said. <clears throat> and then let's try to put this new one in, and fingers crossed I didn't screw up the bottom board or any of that lovely stuff, um, you know, so that we can effectively have a new television set. But like I said, fingers are crossed here. I guess just have to keep guiding it slowly but surely, guys. There we go. Okay, so, seems like we're in uh, this part. It's going to be hopefully not tricky. You see this little thing here? It's so blurry. I'm sorry, but you'll get the big picture. You just got to clip it, clip it in. You got to kind of push it down.
All right, so sorry for not talking for a while, but then it's, you know, you just got to put these wires, you got to plug these wires back where they were. Make sure that they click in there. Perfect. Let me bring that camera around, boys and girls. And after you replace that wide board upper, you can see that our lines went away. That's simple. So, as you can see, the wide board certainly fixed the problem. Last steps was to put the back panel on, which I'm sure you guys figured out on your own. After you put the Y board in, the whole total time takes just under an hour. Uh, this is how to fix a Samsung 42 inch plasma television by replacing the Y board upper. If you have a similar problem with the bottom of the screen, you replace the Y board lower. If you have a problem with both, replace both. And <clears throat> if you have a problem with an LCD Samsung, watch our other video on how to replace uh, the TCON board to fix that television. This is just by coincidence that this plasma exploded just after we fixed the LCD. A true testament to the types of products Samsung puts out.